Yeah, I know. You guys are probably like, oh, crap. Bleak hit the goddamn lotto? Out of anyone? Bleak? But nah, I didn't. <laughs> it's just the name of my video, and that is going to bring me on to my topic that I'm going to discuss. Now, the topic has to deal with a man who won the lottery. He, won, uh, he decided to take the large lump sum and won. So he won about 420 something thousand dollars, right? And um, the next day, he just dropped dead. They don't know why. Well, they didn't know why. He won a $425,000 lottery check that he was taking home. And the next day, he just died. Now, his family said that he was a healthy man. Nothing was ever wrong with him. So they don't know why he died. Now, uh, he was an immigrant from India who owned a dry cleaning business in Chicago. And he died July 20th, 2012 of natural causes. But some family members demanded that some more tests were done to him. In November, they found a lethal dosage of cyanide in his blood. Crazy, right? Now, this brings me to the fact that if you won the lottery and you brought that money home, could you really trust the people around you? Because that's a lot of money, and money honestly brings out the dirtier sides of people. So if you won this big, large lump sum, and you know that all your family members know that you own this money now, if you were to die, it would somehow be dispersed through either your will or just to whoever it would go to next legally, being your wife, your kids, whoever. Do you think they would try and kill you? So uh, what his family member says, or what the uh, uh, homicide investigator said, is when we found out there was a lethal dosage of cyanide in his blood, they had to believe that somebody killed him. Because, I mean, where can you get cyanide from? So, uh, there's like a legal battle going on between his family and his widow now, because they don't, at first they're saying were they even legally married, but his widow is saying that they were legally married. She works at the dry cleaning companies that he owned right now. And, um, he had over more than one million dollars in, in like, just stuff, lottery winnings, his business, his real estate holdings, and stuff like that, that's now going to be dispersed. And the next legal person in line would be his widow. And, she, like, th she's not even a suspect. Like, to me, I, I suspect anyone close to the person, especially if they got poisoned, because how else would he get all that poison into his blood, either by food or drinking something or... Something. It had to get in there somehow. And now, uh, what he planned to do with his money, I think he uh, was going to give some to some charity. He planned to use the money to pay off his bills and mortgage and make a contribution to the St. Jude Children's Research Center. Now, that's a nice thing to do. And it's smart that he was going to pay his bills with it. But if that was the case, do you think his wife would have killed him? So, I'm just wondering, like... When it comes to winning the lotto, do you even really want to win the lotto? Because it seems like if you were to win the lotto, it would turn everyone against you around you. And that would be crazy. Like, how would you feel if your family members that you've been living with your whole life, you've loved them, and you've treated them the best you could and been nothing but loving family members, all of a sudden become your enemies just for the fact that you've gained a large lump, uh, ugh, lump sum of money. Like It's ridiculous if you just sit back and think of it because your wife could now be your enemy and you would not even know it. You'd be sitting there happy that you won this money and now she's sitting here scheming and plotting against you to kill you. And anything could be used as a weapon, literally. You can use... A freaking fork, for example, would kill somebody, but of course they wouldn't do that because they know who the killer is right away, but if you think about it, she could poison you, just like in this case, where if she makes your food, you come home from a hard day at work, and you're not even knowing that your food is poisoned, you could drop dead either instantly, or the next day, or just whenever. It's ridiculous, and this is all, once again, over money, and that brings me to the point that money brings out the bad in people, it really does. And you can see this because when money is low, all hell breaks loose. So let's say you're in a relationship, uh, either married or just in a relationship where you live together. 
and your money isn't looking right. You you start, you're a happy couple, everything's going right, and you guys love each other to death. But then when the money starts getting low, and it comes to paying the bills and things like such, things start to get hectic. You start to argue, you start getting into more altercations. You you guys don't agree on things as much anymore. It's just a lot of things like that to happen. Like your your mood overall is just changed. It's like you're you're not in as good of a mood anymore overall throughout your day. And that can affect a lot of other things, your performance at work or uh just just how you act in the house, how you act towards your friends. It, it can mess up your goals that you have in life. So just remember that don't let money get in between you and your loved ones because that, it, it's not worth it. In the end, you should all still love each other and try to help each other grow. Sorry if I sound a little weird. I am really sick right now. I think I'm coming down with the flu. And uh, I don't know if you guys know or have been paying attention to the news, but the flu is all over the place now. It's actually been 12 people who've died from the flu. So I'm not looking forward to this. I feel like crap and my classes start tomorrow on Tuesday. Um, it, it's not looking good for me. But I wish I would have hit the lotto. It would be amazing. That brings me to my next question for all of you. If you were to hit the lotto, how would you spend your money? Would you give up some of the money to charities? Would you go out and just blow it all on a shopping spree? Would you give it to people and just give it away or save it, put it in a savings account, let it grow, use it towards your kid's college or something like that? What would you all do? I think if I gained or if I were to hit the lotto, first off, I wouldn't tell nobody. I tell them they can't put it on the news, can't disclose my name or anything. And I'd probably move away from where I am now to a nicer place, maybe get a new place, you know. The lot of money, I mean, after taxes, isn't even really that much. Um, there's two ways to do it. I think you can get payments over the years, or you can just take the large lump sum at once, but then the taxes are harsh, more harsh than they would be if you take it in little small payments. But, uh... I don't know, I'd probably take the little small payments over a while because then I can't really blow it that fast. And that would leave me with more money over the time and probably help me out in situations. But then again, what if I need all the money at once to do something? That would that would definitely uh, <laughs> help to have it all at once. But I'd probably, you know, get some necessities if I had bills to pay, pay them off, pay off a car if I had a car to pay off even though my car's already paid off. Stuff like that, pay my mortgage, and then uh, what I give some to charity. I'm not sure. I'm not really the kind of person who pays attention to charities and stuff like that. I mean, I do feel bad for the people, and stuff like that. The charities try to help, but I mean, everyone has their own downfalls, and and uh, no one's perfect. So there's something wrong with everyone, and I'm not. No one's sitting here helping me like that. So that's how I see it at times, but at times I do want to help those people. But if I win this money, I'm going to help myself before I help anyone else. So I'd probably put some in a savings account as well. Because if I have children, I want them to have enough money to go to college. Because college kills, kills the bank. And I don't want them to have to pay that for the rest of their lives and stuff like that. So, on that, please let me know how you guys would feel if you won the lottery. I mean, of course you'd be happy, but what would you do with the money? How would you feel about the people around you? Um, this is, of course, a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay. You're going to be seeing a lot more of them. Of course, I am no sarcasm or whoever that gets these 100 kill gameplays. Uh, SZYB, shout out to him. He gets some good gameplays. Pwn Star, people like that. I'm not no person like that where I'm dropping 100 kills and 2 deaths. But I think I do do pretty good on the matches that I post up. This is a 49 and 9 gameplay. Just so you guys know, I blow with the Hellstorm missile. It will be the death of me. I'm getting better with it. But hopefully uh, I can step that game up. I'm using a silenced PDW. And I'm, I'm pretty much I rack in a lot of kill streaks on here that get me a lot of kills. But hopefully you guys do enjoy seeing this Black Ops 2 gameplay because I will be having more. It's only from pubs, sadly. I, I don't do competitive that much anymore. I want to get back into it, but I'd have to find a team first. So, with that...
being said, this is going to conclude my video. I'm just going to end it kind of short, a little short. And let me guys know how you guys will feel if you win the lottery or what you use the money on. I hope you guys enjoy my video. And remember, your likes and comments motivate me to keep going. This has been Bleak, and I'm out of here. Never a doubt. Good job. Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? It's Bleak, and I just wanted to tell you guys real quick that if you want to be updated with what's going on with me and my life, please follow me on Twitter at Bleak Production, and be sure to check out my new blog at BleakOnEverything.blogspot.com. Thank you guys for following me, subscribing to me, and watching my videos. I love you all. This has been Bleak. Peace.